uh, I am Veronica and this is my BFF Lexi. Hi. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to make these delicious gourmet hot chocolates right here. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And without further ado, let's just get on with the video. I pulled up recipes on my phone from Pinterest. The first one I think we should probably make is the s'mores hot chocolate. We'll use the regular hot chocolate mix for that one. And then also graham cracker crumbs and marshmallows. marshmallows. Just casually filling up the pot with water. So while the water is heating up and starting to boil, we're actually gonna take our graham cracker crumbs and we're gonna put them in the bottom of our mug. Which one are we using? We're using a flour mug. So I put a bunch of marshmallows into this glass container. It's a bowl. Wow. <laughs> With a little bit of water and I'm gonna stick them in the microwave for like 10 or 15 seconds at a time and then I'm gonna take it out and stir it so it doesn't explode in my microwave. We kind of just wanted to make this melted down and gooey so we could eventually put it around the rim. Pour in the hot water. I left a little bit of extra space in the mug because I also like to add in some milk to make it a little bit creamier. I'm gonna take the melted marshmallow fluff and I'm gonna put it kind of along the inner rim or not, or it's gonna slide in. That's fine, we have, we have more marshmallow fluff to work with. I might have made this a little too runny by adding water to the marshmallows, but I was scared it wasn't gonna melt well enough, so maybe don't add as much water as I did. After putting graham cracker on top, we garnished it with more marshmallows, wow, I forgot the word for a second, and Nutella, so I can't wait to try this, but let's make the other two hot chocolates first before we dig in. What if like garnish was a word that people like use to like describe each other, like, oh my God, you're so garnished. <laughs> Look at that garnish you have on over there. Girl, that scarf, what a garnish. Next, we are going to make white chocolate peppermint hot chocolate. I need to rethink a name for that one. But pretty much what we're gonna use is white chocolate chips. I love white chocolate. Oh. Milk. Milk. And candy cane. The recipe called for four cups of milk and a half cup of white chocolate chips, but we are halving it. So we're doing two cups of milk and a quarter cup of white chocolate chips. But because we don't have peppermint extract, I'm still gonna use an entire candy cane. When you're heating milk in a saucepan, I recommend putting in a little bit of water in just to get the water boiling first and then you pour in the milk. Okay, so now that the water has come to a boil, I'm actually going to turn down the heat um, and then pour in the milk. And we also want to melt the candy cane, so I'm gonna throw that in there. Our candy cane melted in the milk and it made a really pretty pink color, but now I'm gonna pour in the white chocolate chips and we're gonna keep stirring this until it's all melted. Oh, Quick really disclaimer, does. we were supposed to put in peppermint extract, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna, Fine. we're not gonna put it in and I don't know if this is terrible, then um, oops, sorry about that. Oh, careful, I don't wanna burn your hands. It looks like strawberry milk. Ooh! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> I totally just dropped the candy cane that we were gonna use to put on top on the ground, so there will no longer be any candy cane on the hot chocolate. Well, since <laughs> I killed the rest of the candy cane, I'm just gonna use whipped cream instead, so here oh, goes nothing. Okay. <laughs> I just realized that I've had spinach next to us this entire time. I, like, I forgot to put it back in my refrigerator. Once again, this next recipe also calls for four cups of milk, but that is just a little too much in my opinion. So we're gonna half it again. We need two cups of milk, two, just kidding. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon of Nutella, one tablespoon peanut butter, one tablespoon cocoa powder, and one tablespoon sugar along with marshmallows to put on top. So this one's a little more complicated, but let's just get started. Is dry powdered peanut butter a thing? Yeah, like PB2. What? 
So the milk is beginning to froth over. I'm gonna add in one tablespoon sugar and one tablespoon cocoa powder. Kinda reminds me of brownies. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of peanut butter now, along with one tablespoon of Nutella. This is definitely the one I'm most scared to try, um, but I don't know, we'll see how it works out. May I do the honor? Do it. And I chopped up some Reese's pieces or mini Reese's cups, I don't know what these are called. Mm. And I'm gonna put it right on top. Oh, would you look at that. So that is everything. Highly recommend making these. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to both Lexi and me. And yeah. Other than that, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.